As we gather together, we continue to pray in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we continue to embrace the Advent journey, we do so trusting in God's great gift and promise of forgiving love as we confess our sin and our brokenness. Lord Jesus, you come in love to save us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you come in love to redeem us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in love to heal and forgive us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin and bring us to a richer and more abundant life in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> May our prayer of petition Rise before you, we pray, O gracious God, that with purity unblemished, we, your servants, may come as we desire to celebrate the great mystery of the incarnation of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The desert and the parched land will exalt. The step will rejoice and bloom. They will be bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them. The splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord the splendor of our God. Straighten the hands that are feeble, making firm the knees that are weak. Say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. He is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stack. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the step. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The abode where chapels lurk will be a marsh for the reed and the papyrus. A highway will be there called the holy way. No one unclean may pass over it, nor fools go astray on it. No lion will be there, nor beast or prey go up to be, to, to be met upon it. <clears throat> It is for those with a journey to make, and on it the redeemed will walk. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing. Crowned with everlasting joy, they will meet with joy and gladness. Sorrow and mourning will flee. The word of the Lord. Our God will come to save us. I will hear what God proclaims. The Lord.
for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. Our God will come to save us. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace, and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Our God will come to save us. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield his increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Our God will come to save us. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Behold, the King will come, the Lord of the earth, and He Himself will lift the yoke of our captivity. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One day, as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law, who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, were sitting there, and the power of the Lord was with him for healing. Some men brought on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence. But not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the middle of the front, in the front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and Pharisees began to ask themselves, Who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who let God alone and forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, What are you thinking in your hearts? Jesus knew their hearts and said in reply, Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk? But you, that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home, glorifying God. Then astonishment seized them all, and they glorified God. And struck with awe, they said, We have seen incredible things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Good morning. Good morning. Well, if you take nothing away from the Eucharist today, but the responsorial song, you will have everything you need. Now think for a moment. Do you even remember what it was? The Lord will come to save us. And I would put it a little differently. I would say the Lord comes to save us. If you remember that, you have everything you need. You know, these first two weeks of Advent, we're in the book of the prophet Isaiah. And today's reading was just so powerful, at least I thought it was. I mean, we heard God promise that God will touch feeble hands, weak knees, <coughs> frightened hearts, blind eyes, mute tongues, lame legs, that pretty much covers the bases. And then we're told, 
God will take the wilderness, the desert, that is arid and life-threatening, and will turn it into a garden of delight and love. That's who God wants to be in our journey of life. God wants to take anything in you or me that is not healthy and whole and restore it. Love it and save it. Oh, I found myself in prayer saying the only thing I could say. Thank you. Thank you. It's God's doing, not ours. So again, if you take nothing else from the scriptures today, take with you God comes to save us. That's all we need to know. Let us stand together now as we entrust our prayers to the God who loves us. <clears throat> our gracious God, through these days of Advent journey, we praise and thank you for the great gift and promise of your gift of redeeming love in your Son, Jesus. We pray. Lord, 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 Lord. Let us continue to pray that during the haste of the Advent season, we might quiet our hearts to be renewed by the promise of God saving, redeeming, and healing love. We pray. Lord, 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 Lord. Let us pray for those who are searching for the gift and promise of God's love, that their hearts will be open to its offer. We pray. Lord, 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 Lord. Let us remember those participating in our RCIA program for the children of the parish, preparing for the sacraments of First Reconciliation and Eucharist, and our high school youth, preparing for the sacrament of Confirmation. We pray. Lord, we pray. Let us pray for those who are sick and lonely, that they will find comfort, care, and support. We pray. Lord, we pray. Let us pray for world leaders, that they will work together for the common good of all. We pray. Lord, we are Let us pray that Jesus, the Prince of Peace, will bring his peace more fully to our world. We pray. Lord, we are We've been asked to pray and remember today. Ricardo Miratero, Robert Mazurik, and Barbara Dunkel, in gratitude for God's promise of life and its fullness, spoken to them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions we hold in our hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Our gracious and redeeming God, as we stand, in faith. We praise and thank you for the great longing in your heart to save us, each one. Deepen our confidence and open our hearts to the wonder of grace, the power of your forgiving, redeeming love. We make our prayer. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Join me now in prayer, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice might be acceptable to our gracious and loving God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. <clears throat> Except we pray, O gracious God, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our joy and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy God, almighty and eternal God, through Christ Jesus our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we have Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, holy, O gracious God, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, while he was at supper with his disciples, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the cup, 
Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink it from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, our gracious God, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ Jesus, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, gracious God, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gerald our Bishop, and all your holy people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, let us join together sharing the prayer that he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, gracious God, we pray, from every evil. Grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but to the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And let us share with one another a sign of the Lord's love and peace. Peace, brother. 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 Peace, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <coughs>
Let us stand together in prayer. <clears throat> May these mysteries, O gracious God, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with May the blessing of our God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon us all and abide forever. Amen. Let us continue our journey in the peace and love of Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen.